Hey guys, I hope y'all are doing well. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a pregnancy update for weeks 10 through 13. I am currently 13 weeks pregnant and I am so excited that I'm finally at the end of my first trimester. Sometimes, you know, the first trimester just seems like it is, it takes forever because you get sick, you know, in the beginning and then you are exhausted and everything's new and everything's crazy and you just have no energy, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm super excited that I'm going to be done with the first trimester next week. So super excited for that, but I'm gonna go ahead and update you guys on what's been happening for these last four weeks. So let's jump in. All right, but before I do, water is super important, especially when you're pregnant. So I'm trying to remember to drink. And with these videos, I usually talk, so drinking helps clear my throat. Anyway, and keep it clear. So last we talked kind of just about like, I was getting over morning sickness and finally like all day sickness was pretty much over. Um, I still would have sickness here and there for mostly just if I didn't eat right away for breakfast. Um, and that's when I would feel sick. And that's pretty much the same. Nothing's really changed that much. I am still feeling a lot better. Um, Energy-wise, it's about the same. I still have very little energy. Some days are a little better than others, and so that's great. But um, yeah, anyway. But no update on if I have twins or not because there's no, really no way to tell without an ultrasound, and I don't want to do an ultrasound with this pregnancy if at all possible. So. If it is twins, I will let you guys know later on in future videos, but right now we don't know. So um, we did have our first midwife appointment and it went super well. Judah was super excited. This is my oldest, by the way. Judah is oldest, is my oldest. Oh my gosh. Uh, for those of you who are new, I should probably mention <laughs> that I am pregnant with our third child. And so like my two older kids are absolutely loving that I'm pregnant. Like obviously Kyla, who is my second born, she's only one and a half and so doesn't really know what's going on. Judah on the other hand is three and he's getting more involved, more interested in what's going on. So he kind of, kind of understands there's something inside of me, a baby inside of me, but obviously he doesn't know a whole lot about that. He just knows that there's a baby inside of me and he doesn't know how it got there or anything, obviously. But, um, so he's super excited to welcome another sibling. But at the midwife appointment, he was so excited to hear the heartbeat. And then the midwife actually put the Doppler on his heart. And I think he got a little confused. Pardon me. Got a little confused <laughs> because almost thought that now he has a baby in his tummy. We figure, I think we I think he's not confused anymore, but I think he was at the appointment. But he still thought that was just the most amazing thing in the world. And so he was really trying to help my midwife like check me out and like feel the belly and all this fun stuff. So it was really good. We did hear a heartbeat, um, just one. So I don't know what that means. It might just be one, it might just be another baby hiding. It's really too early to know from a Doppler. Um, but the baby's heartbeat was strong. Um, it took her a while to find the heartbeat and that's very normal. I was only 11 weeks and some odd days before uh, when we did the heartbeat, when she monitored, oh my word, I cannot talk for the life of me. But when we had the appointment, I was 11 weeks, 11 and a half weeks. So still very early um, to hear the heartbeat right away. So you have to like really work to get the heartbeat. So anyway, um, it took a little bit, it took a few minutes, and then we found the heartbeat. It was very strong, very fast, very healthy little child. Um, and so that was exciting. Uh, next week, or not next week, next appointment, um, which I might add with my midwife, when you, with the midwife normally, you start out with your appointments being every month um, until you get to the third trimester. Once you hit the third trimester, it's every two weeks. And then once you're 36 weeks, it's every week from then on. So that's kind of how things go. Um, and so she's, I'll be meeting her in about two other, two more weeks. Um, and we'll get more of a feel for if there are two babies in there or not, we'll know more. Um, I will also be really big. So if I am pregnant with twins, I'll probably be 
bigger than I should be. And so she'll measure me then and kind of figure that all out. Anyway, with that all to say, hopefully it wasn't too blabbly or blabbly. Is that even a word? Um, hopefully I'm not just talking randomly here, but I was just trying to explain that the appointment went well and I was super excited to hear the heartbeat. So that was, that was kind of, just kind of makes it real, you know? Um, so yeah, anyway, more updates here. So, um, 10 weeks went fairly good. That was before we went to the appointment. Um, nothing super crazy happened. I was starting to feel better. 11 weeks hits. We see the midwife, everything checks out. I'm doing great. I did get my blood drawn, um, when I was about 12 weeks along and, um, everything checked out fairly good. She was just checking my hemoglobin, my iron levels, that kind of stuff and everything's great so that all checked out really good thank goodness because you know i don't really want to be taking any more supplements thank you very much um and so week 12 went by without a hitch so but i do want to mention because um it's exciting i am feeling baby now and i've been feeling baby i've been <laughs> it's kids so i've always felt my kids right around 13 weeks um, with my first, I think it was closer to 14 weeks, but I'm pretty sure it was right before I hit my 14 week mark that I felt him like sweep across my belly. And so with Kyla, I know I felt her at like exactly 13 weeks along. And with this baby, I have felt the baby, I believe, at almost 11 weeks. So I believe it was like a day before my 11 weeks hit and I could feel this baby. I, for a while, I kind of denied it because I was like, this is way too early, right? Most people will say that, but not necessarily. Um, I have actually a lot of relatives and friends who have actually felt their baby at 10 weeks. And granted, I was pretty much 11 weeks by that time. And it is highly, it is very much possible to feel your child at that, that early. If you're really paying attention, it's possible. And a lot of people, a lot of professionals, not necessarily midwives, but a lot of professionals will tell you that's not really possible. You know, maybe, maybe at 13 weeks, but anything before that is like totally not possible. It is totally possible. <laughs> and I'm feeling baby kick. Now that I'm four, 13 weeks pregnant, I can definitely feel this little baby kick and move and sweep across my belly. It is amazing and it's the most amazing feeling ever. It's also low, so I know it's not gas bubbles or whatever. It's, um, and it's more of like a little like tap 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 and at 11 weeks it was a lot softer then but now it's like a harder like tip -de tap tip -de tap and so that was super exciting to feel so that has been going on and it's super exciting and it's just getting stronger and stronger and i do believe that it's also like something that could happen is if you have your placenta in front of your belly that could be why you're not feeling baby earlier um, most of my babies, all my placentas have been in the back, I believe, or at least not in the front, and so I'm able to feel the baby. Um, that's not always the case, so that's also a little trivia there for you. Um, but anyway, so, <sighs> nausea is gone, um, unless I don't eat right away. Um, I am having very vivid dreams, <laughs> um, even more so than the weeks before, but like, dreams are just so vivid, guys. Like, they really do seem real. Um, which is great, right? I mean, sometimes, depends on the dream. But anyway, those have been fun, um, very interesting. Um, thinking more on birth, I'm really starting to get into that phase of starting to prepare myself mentally and physically. I'm gonna start exercising more, doing a lot more deep squats, um, doing a lot more prenatal stuff, like taking a lot more vitamins and minerals and supplements. And I'll go more into what I do for preparing for birth uh, later on in a future video when I'm farther along in my pregnancy. But um, there's a bunch of stuff I do for that. I'm doing like raspberry leaf tea and a bunch of other things. Um, the second trimester is next week, so I'm super excited about that. Hopefully it brings more energy. I have had a tiny bit of ener more energy than in the beginning, but still I could sleep all day and still want to sleep after that. Um, so there's always that. <laughs> Nothing too crazy has happened. It's just those things that I kind of touched on the highlight of hearing baby's heartbeat, feeling baby kick. All those things are just, that's kind of what's been happening. And we're super excited about this baby. 
If it is twins, I will for sure let you guys know. I don't think so. I think it's just a single baby. And I think because the reason I'm so big, so fast, is just because it's my third child and my body knows what to do with it. So, um, but I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, you guys see a whole new video about pregnant with twins. Um, but anyway, so let's go ahead and show you the bump because it's been growing, 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 and it's quite a lot bigger than last time I showed you guys. So let's go ahead and do this. for this next little chapter in our life and this new little baby that's going to be coming soon um i'm pretty much i'm almost four months old well no wait i'm three months along but i don't know i don't figure out the months i just do the weeks because it's easier um but i'm just super excited to be welcoming this new baby all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next update and i hope you guys have a very merry christmas which it's actually like a couple days from now, which is crazy. But I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I will see you guys next year. <laughs> Bye.